Is there an Android editing app that is as good as iMovie is on iPhone? Turns out there is. <laughs> bit of an iPhone person so I set myself a challenge to find an Android editing app for video that was as good as iMovie that I could recommend to you. So I borrowed an Android phone and I found Cyberlink Power Director and you know what it's not as good as iMovie it's way better it's almost as good as some of the desktop apps that i use you can use this tool for vertical video as well which means it's perfect for igtv and today i'm going to show you how it works if you want to find out more about mobile phone editing apps and editing tools go visit the blog click on new project and give it a name something creative like test project and now you're going to choose your aspect ratio. 16 by 9 is your horizontal frame for PCs and your regular videos. 9 by 16 is a vertical video format that you might want to use for IGTV. That's what we're going to play with today. Now you can import your videos. You can even capture your videos directly using the camera icon, or you can choose from any of your albums on your phone. So here's two that I picked from earlier on. They're me drinking coffee, creatively. As you may have noticed, this is a theme in my editing videos. If I click on it, you get these little green handles. And using these little green handles, you can trim the clips. So for example, in this one, I just want the coffee leaving the frame. I don't want anything else. So here we go. That's the moment. Now I'm going to click on my second clip. And in my second clip, I want that coffee coming into the frame just as I drink it. If I click the play button, I can watch that through. That's not exactly right. I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time editing that, but you get the hang of it. If I click onto that little icon on the bottom left hand side, that gives me some options for transitions. At the moment, it's a straight cut, but there's all these different transitions you can add. I would advise against using too many of these because it makes it look a little bit amateur. It can also distract from the main message of your video. But I do like this shove effect. Let's have a look at that in action. Something a lot of people ask me about is adding a logo as an overlay on a video. So you see on the left hand side of the screen, there's a layers tab, the two squares. And if I click on image, as long as I've got a copy of my logo as a transparent PNG, I can add that as a layer. I'm just going to tap that, click the plus, and it brings it in to the timeline. You can see it's overlaid the top. I've just tapped on that. I can move it around, I can make it smaller, and I can place it where I want it to go in the video. And if I click that up arrow at the bottom, I can reveal the timeline and I can stretch it out so that it fills the entire video as an overlay. So let's have a look at that by clicking the play button. Another use for the overlay tool would be for a tutorial, for example, where you need your hands doing something while you're talking. You could shoot the piece with you talking to camera and overlay your hands doing the action. The next thing I want to show you is how to add a title to your video. So click the layers tab again and click title. And you can see there's loads of options for titles there that you can play around with. I'm going to go for something simple. If I click Cyberlink and the plus button, you can see it's been added to my timeline. And I can move it around on the screen to where I want it to appear. Tap on it to change the text, because obviously I don't want it to say Cyberlink. I want it to say coffee. Click on the down arrow to go full screen. Now that's where I want it to go. If I click the pencil, I can click title designer and this gives me loads of other options so I can change the style, I can change the font, I can change the color scheme, I can change where it's positioned on screen. So I have a lot of control over what this title will actually look like. And now I can choose the position that I want it to appear on the screen. So not just where it appears on the screen but when. And you can see it's got handles. I can just pick that up 
and I want it to come in at the end as I'm drinking the coffee. So we're getting that ah oh, coffee moment. So there you go, it's coming in. I've added another clip because I want to show you how you can cut out the bits where you make a mistake. So scroll across to the point where you made a mistake and click on the clip to make those green handles appear. And you can see on the left hand side, we've got a knife. That's it, click the knife, move across the end of your mistake, click the knife again. And now select that clip and delete it. And that's it, it's gone. That mistake has gone for good. Now I want to show you how to add effects to that clip and there's some pretty cool ones that you can add. So if I click on to the pencil, you can see the speed, this crop, this duplicate, but I like this one, skin smoother. I mean, who doesn't want to look younger, really? And you see it's automatically added that, but I can add my skin brightness and my skin smoothing. Do I look better? I don't know. I want to add some more effects. So I'm going to click on that pencil again and I'm going to go to that color effect at the top right hand side. And here it's a bit like Instagram. You go in and there's different filters that you can add to your clip. So I want to look more gorgeous. Which one will make me look most gorgeous do you think? I can also click on the slider on the left hand side. And when I do that, I can adjust the brightness, the contrast, the saturation. If I click on the white balance at the bottom, color, temperature, and tint. Do I look better? I think I look better. If I click FX, and this is weird because it's not while I've got the clip selected, I can add any of these interesting effects to the video. So let's just put this dreamy one in. Ah, <gasps> now I look lovely. Don't I look lovely? And obviously this is something you can play around with a lot, just to know that it is only gonna add the effect to the active clip that you're working on. So if you do choose one of these, make a note of what they are so that when you add a new clip, you can add the effect to that as well. The final thing to do is to save your project. So you can save it and come back to it later, or you can export it to your phone so that you can upload it into IGTV, YouTube, or wherever else you're posting your video.